Good morning. Um, I was just wandering around. It's like 7 a.m. and I could hear Marty like whispering in his bedroom. I was like, what is he saying? So I like crept over to his room because I didn't really like talk like really low. And he was saying like, hello, hello, hello. And like a really low voice, like over and over and over. I've never heard him say that before. Every time I get back from traveling, Marty knows a new word because my dad watches him and he'll like teach him shit. So I just crept into my bedroom. I called my dad. I was like, did you teach Marty how to say hello? <laughs> You're so smart. How do you do that stuff? You're so smart. Yeah, I got back from my boyfriend excursions like two days ago and I wanted to vlog yesterday, but you guys wouldn't have liked the person I was yesterday. So I decided to, to not do that. I was very vicious yesterday. I was extremely stressed out and I was starving because I was doing a juice cleanse. So like you, you didn't want to, why is everyone yelling? I always get like that, like the day after I get back from traveling, so like that's normal. So I had like the most productive day of my life yesterday. I got everything done. I woke up today like refreshed and like reset, and, like ready to start the week. So like we're good now. <laughs> get off the counter. Get off the counter. Thank you. Do you guys want to hear Marty say hello? <laughs> okay. So now, now this is his vocabulary. He says Tara's world. He says Marty bird. He says hello. And uh, that's about it. Um, hmm. oh. Hello. 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 My birdie is so so smart. How do you? How does? How do birds talk? I'm so confused all the time. So the new rage is Celtic salt. So I went to Whole Foods yesterday and I looked for Celtic salt and they were sold out. I wanted to do like a lemon juice and Celtic salt like in the morning before coffee. Um, I still don't know what the fuck it does. That's my thing. Like I'll see these new potions on TikTok and I'll go run out and get them even though I have no I, I still don't know what gut health means. I don't know what gut health means. But I take all these gut health supplements. <laughs> I don't know. I wanted to do Celtic salt and lemon juice in my water in the morning, um, but it was sold out. I got the Santa Cruz lemon juice in the glass bottle. Um, here's the thing about living in LA. Every time there's a new product or like potion that goes viral anywhere, like I feel like LA is the first place to sell out of, you know, the Charlotte Tilbury magic wand from Sephora. like. Celtic salt from Whole Foods. It's always the first place to sell out of those things. Do I have to explain why? So I don't know how I'm gonna get my hands on some Celtic salt, but I'm doing a lemon water. I have the juice of about eight lemons in this water right now. Woo! Okay, I just made breakfast and I'm going to add some stuff to my Google Calendar. I finally made a Google Calendar. I've been like remembering due dates just like in my head my entire life. I've never had a calendar. That needs to end. October is like a very busy month. So. so I got high on the plane the other day and made a whole Google calendar. I just have to add stuff to it now, but here's my breakfast. I made two little Beyond sausages, broccoli, and I did like strawberries, raspberries, and blueberries. I've never tried this sausage before. Mm. Oh my God. Give me a meal. You guys, this candle is so good. I got it from Target. It's like the pumpkin shortbread candle, I believe. And it like looks like a cute little pumpkin. I love it. But like, I feel like whenever I get candles that aren't like fancy, they don't do anything. Like they don't really smell up the place and I don't love them unless I get them from like a local business and they're like $40, like it doesn't do anything. So I normally don't get candles from Target but I couldn't pass this one up and it's so good. I just had to tell you that. I just changed out like my earrings and my necklace for the first time and I don't even know. Like those earrings were a part of my ear. Like I'm not gonna explain the details but it was kind of, I'm not gonna say that online. <laughs> they were really in there but I got these just like tiny little hoops and then these bigger Gold hoops from Every Jewels. I like already have these, but I'll like lose like hat, like an earring, and then I only have one. So I got new ones, and then I got this little like nameplate necklace that just says Tara on it, and it's so cute. I'm heading to the gym. I'm wearing my little pink aloe shorts. I love these shorts, but I, I prefer the three inch 
aligned shorts and I could only get the pink in a five inch so I never wear them but I'm wearing them today because I'm feeling girly and I'm wearing my Etern v-neck and my Nike sports bra and then my Hoka's and I'm drinking a little Kim Aid from Alani Nutrition. So I've always been like a big believer on like if you're living in an apartment building with a gym why the fuck are you paying a monthly fee to go to a gym when you already have one like i've never understood that i've never done it i always just use my own gym in my apartment complex i do have a planet fitness membership but that's just for when i'm like traveling because they're everywhere so i can always just like go to the gym if i want but everyone in la has a fucking equinox membership and i'm like you live in a nice apartment building with a nice gym like why are you paying 250 dollars a month to go to equinox when you already have a gym it makes no sense to me it never has tell me why this morning Tell me why this morning and like last night I was like, ah, oh, like I'm having a change of heart. I want to go to Equinox too and like go to the sauna and like go to a Pilates class at Equinox and like use the treadmill and like, why do I want to do that? Why am I having this change of heart? It's making me feel like a fucking idiot. <laughs> I don't know what to do. There's an Equinox right next to my apartment complex and here's the thing, like I feel like I would... <sighs> I feel like it would motivate me more because it's kind of fun to like walk to the gym and like it's equinox and it's like bougie and fun, right? And then all the classes are free so I would never have to pay to go to solid core to go to Pilates ever again. I could just use the Pilates in there. They have a sauna. I've always wanted to use a sauna. Like there's all these things that would be so fun. So I don't know what to, I might inquire about an Equinox membership, but for right now, I'm gonna go downstairs and go to my apartment gym. <laughs> Look at Venus right now. Like he, d he don't give a fuck. Good morning. Hello, pretty baby. My little pretty babies. Hello, hello. I'm so lucky. <laughs> okay, I just got out of the shower. I was at the gym and I smelled so fucking bad. I forgot to put on deodorant or anything for that matter and I was running on the treadmill right next to somebody for a while and I was like wow I smell right <laughs> I gotta go home but I wanted to show you guys like all the shower products I use because these are probably never going to change I am in love with these this is my favorite products of all time for the shower I use the sun bum shampoo and conditioner and then I have the hair mask and the detox scalp scrub i honestly use the hair mask more than the conditioner i just use the mask as a conditioner and it's great um this is the flamingo razor i've been using that for a while i just change out the heads obviously like every month this sugar scrub is so amazing it's from shea moisture i also love the aloe body polish one too but they're both like equal in my eyes i love them this is the salt and stone body wash it smells so good this is the tree hut moisturizing shave oil i like the honestly i love this one too just like I, you find this anywhere i love this shaving cream but i also love that one and then that is just the aloe head to toe glow oil i don't use shower oils nearly as much as i should i'll just use it like if my boyfriend's over or like things like that like if i want to be like really soft i'll use a shower oil and that is my favorite one hi marty bird i'm trying to teach him how to say cunty bird cunty bird cunty bird <laughs> you want scratches my hands are full okay i just put on like a little cozy outfit because it's like cloudy and chilly so I put on a little sweater. This sweater is from Aloe, and then I'm just wearing my little brandy shorts that I wear every day, and a little MEJ clip. I actually mentioned to my boyfriend the other day, I was like, is it off-putting that I rotate the same two shirts and shorts every day? Or is that not something you notice? He was like, I do the same thing, like, you're fine. I was like, okay, because, like, <laughs> it's every day. And then I have a great pair and I wear those every other day. Anyways, 
I got this matcha from Chamberlain Coffee. I got the vanilla matcha. I got this actually a while ago and I've never tried it. So we're gonna make a little matcha before we leave. I'm doing all the things. I have a strainer and the little whisk thing because I saw Maggie McDonald doing it the correct way. So now I'm gonna do it the correct way. I'm putting it through the strainer first. That's probably way too much. And I'm gonna strain out all the little clumps and I'm gonna mix it in with some hot water to just really mix it. I don't know. I don't know, man. Mmm, it smells like vanilla. How nice. Some oat milk, huh? What was that? Mmm. This stuff's really good. I normally put maple syrup, like strawberry jam in my matchas. That's why I don't make them anymore because it's like, it's like an entire meal whenever I make a matcha. I can just drink this straight. That's very good. That's very good. <sighs> I went on a unfollowing spree on Instagram the other day and I unfollowed like 400 people because like I don't want to be following people anymore that I'm not fucking friends with. And I just passed by a girl on the street, like she was walking down the street, who I unfollowed the other day. Awkward! Awkward! I don't, we're not friends. Sorry, like, <laughs> I don't think she'll notice. But um, I asked you guys to ask me questions on my Instagram story so I could do a little Q&A. So I'm gonna answer some questions right now because I haven't done a QA and a in, I don't know, years. I'm just so private and like mysterious. <laughs> How long did it take you to adapt to the LA lifestyle being a New Englander? I hated it for the first six months. I wanted to move home. I almost moved home. Um, and I was just gonna like pay two lease to um rents at the same time because I wanted to get the fuck out of here. But I moved past that. I was like, no, I'm gonna stick it out. And now it is my favorite place in the world. I actually wanted to make like a whole YouTube video on my personal pros and cons about living in L in LA, but I can't think of many cons. I love it. And I want to shed light on like the beautiful parts about Los Angeles because I feel like the common conversation online is like, LA is toxic and like the people there are just so awful. And like everyone talks about how horrible it is. And I'm pretty sure like most of these people making these like wild TikToks about how the influencers are just so mean and like people in LA are so bad. Like, I'm pretty sure they're doing it for views because I just don't, I don't get it personally. I'll make this quick, but I'm going to tell you my top three favorite things about LA. Number one, it is the most accepting place in the entire world in my opinion. Like it doesn't matter what you look like, what you're wearing, who you love, like what your race is. It doesn't fucking matter. Nobody cares. Everybody is so accepting of every single type of person out here and that is my favorite part about it. Everybody just loves everybody and of course there's like exceptions to all of this but for the most part like it is so loving here and it's so nice to be around and yeah that's number one. Number two the healthy lifestyle is very motivating. Everybody is always like running and like going to workout classes and like going to Erewhon to get Celtic salt and like drinking green juice and it's and going on hikes like it's a very healthy lifestyle to be around and it's very motivating and i love that number three the weather it is the weather is always perfect and you get everything you get the city you get the suburbs you get the canyons you get the hills you get the ocean you get the forest the desert everything is here okay i'll i'll stop my little tangent about la but i love it here Ooh, my boyfriend just texted me and said i've got a mildly crazy idea and let me know if it's too crazy ah! i love today update on your house um, if you guys watch my TikToks, you know that I found a beautiful house and I toured it a few times. It's um, in Beverly Hills and it's perfect and I'm an escrow. My loan just got approved because I cannot buy this ca this house in cash. No, uh oh, I can't buy it in cash. So my loan just got approved. I'm in escrow. It just got inspected and we're still going over like the inspection stuff with like the current owner and we're figuring all that out but it's looking good so that is my update what is the secret to making so much money on only fans please share my success on only fans is very 
it confuses me. It's pretty bizarre because of my demographic. My demographic has always been like 87% female on across all platforms. So my success on OnlyFans confuses me every day. I'm like, where are these men coming from? Because most of my audience on OnlyFans is men. Um, there's a lot of girls too, but like most of it's men. So that's very confusing to me. But being consistent and making quality content is the advice that I have to give. When I first started OnlyFans, this is my, this was my, um, my technique. So once a week, I would shoot all day. Once a week, I would shoot all day long and I would film enough content for the entire week. And then I would post every day on OnlyFans um, on my feed and like send out DMs and I would have enough content for the entire week, but I would only shoot once a week. Okay. You see what I mean? Constantly be in those DMs, like messaging everyone back, like just be consistent and on top of it and slay away. Favorite concert you've ever been to? <clears throat> on the road again, MetLife, One Direction's tour their stadium tour, specifically the one at MetLife. Um, the Dangerous Woman shows that I went to with Jordy. Um, the entire Love on Tour that I went to recently. And, and the Chicago Morgan Wallen show this past June because I met the most special person in the entire world. My boyfriend. <laughs> How is being in a long distance relationship so far? Here's the thing. Let me preface what I'm about to say. I have thought I was broken for like four years now. The last time I've lit, I've actually felt something for someone was like four years ago. So I've seriously thought something was wrong with me. So I've, listen, I've been dating around for the past four years, talking to guys here and there, you know, but like just to see if I could feel something. And I don't care if that makes me sound fucked up. Like, I seriously thought there was something wrong with me. So I've been dating around, like trying to like, you know, feel something, bro. Like what the fuck? And a few of the guys that I was talking to were long distance and I loved it. I loved it. I was like, oh my God, like you stay in your neck of the woods. I'll stay in my neck of the woods. We never need to see each other. This is perfect. Like you're there, I'm here. Lovely. Okay, that's great. With my boyfriend now, like he, he is just so special and um not to like get sappy but like he i'm yeah <laughs> i don't know <laughs> so long distance with him is very sad for me i get sad a lot but we have been seeing each other like every two weeks since we met and so like we make it work um because I love being around him and he loves being around me. It's a mutual thing. So like we constantly have a trip planned and we've literally seen each other every two weeks. So we've been making it work and like FaceTime helps a lot too. And you know what? It's hard like being in a long distance relationship when you first meet somebody because that's like the most crucial part of like, like time to like get to know somebody. So it's weird being long distance when you first meet someone, but FaceTime and like phone calls like we're always on FaceTime. We're always talking on the phone So that helps a lot too. favorite cat if you had to pick people ask me this all the time and like I'm I'm being so serious right now once you have like multiple kids You'll realize that you literally like you can't pick because each one of my kids I have four cats and a bird each one of them brings something so different to my life that I could never, like, I, I just can't, I don't know which one is my favorite because they're all my favorites. And I'm being so serious. Like, I'm not, like, secretly, like, but Phoebe, you're my girl. Like, no, like, I literally can't pick. But when I am, like, in a room with one cat and, and no one else is around, I will be like, you're my favorite, just to make him happy, you know? Me skipping all of the, like, incredibly deep questions because I'm not in a deep mood right now. I'll do one of them. No, I won't. Ah, uh, it's just all of these deep questions like I could make a whole video about, you know, like has becoming an influencer had a negative effect on you? Like, let me ramble for like 45 minutes. Let's go. Here's a more surface level question. Where do you get all of your home decor from? I get all of my home decor from West Elm. West Elm is my favorite furniture website ever. I was trying to dabble with like new furniture websites yesterday for my, cause I have to get more furniture for my new house. But the other ones that I like are like restoration hardware and like Pottery Barn, Crate and Barrel and all those places are like 
very similar to West Elm, but way more expensive. So I'm going to be a West Elm girl forever. Don't hit me. Sorry, I just got scared. What is your sleep schedule? I try to be, um, I'm normally in, in bed by like eight, but then I go to sleep at like 10 and I wake up at around seven. It's usually, it's very consistent. That's always what I do. Unless I'm like, you know, going out in the town, like doing something like that. But on a normal day, like that's my sleeping schedule. How do you open up to people with social anxiety? I don't. I don't. Would you ever be on TikTok the way you used to be on TikTok? No. And here's why. TikTok ruled my life for three years and I got so incredibly burned out that it was insane. Um, I didn't have time to do anything else. I never was interested in pursuing long-term friendships, relationships, because I was so fucking focused on pushing out five TikToks a day for three years straight. Like I didn't go a day without posting five like long, and like I, I wasn't just banging out a TikTok and posting it. Like when I film a TikTok, it's like a vlog or like a long-term thing that takes me like three hours to film. So like I was just filming from sunrise to sundown every day for TikTok and I had no time for anything else. It made me incredibly anxious. It made me, it just ruined my mental health. And I loved it at the same time. Like I love making TikToks, like I always have, but I took a six month break from not posting from like December or like January to like uh, July. This past July, so like seven months I took off from posting. Cause I was just, I, I never thought that I would be able to have a healthy balance with it. Um, Cause it's, it was all or nothing for me. It was like either five videos a day and I'm not doing anything else or I'm not posting at all. Like I, I wasn't comfortable with only posting like one or two videos a day like that just, and then like taking a day off if I want, like that wasn't, in that that wasn't even that wasn't gonna happen so like i was just like i don't think i'll ever have a healthy balance with it but i found one and it's been nice i started posting again like two months ago and you know like sometimes i'll post like three videos a day for like four days straight and then i won't post for two days and then i'll post one video and i'm fine with it like i love it so that's been nice so i'm still gonna be posting just not like like how i used to because that was not great for my mental it wasn't great for my personal life like i didn't have a personal life but <laughs> okay let's go run some errands i need to go to target to film a brand deal for bloom nutrition i want to go to the beverly center and go to victoria's secret because i'm kind of in like a bra era but i only ha own one bra and it's this one and i <laughs> could you just see my nipple i don't know but um i wear this bra every single day and I kind of want to get like a few bras so there's that I want to go to Trader Joe's and get flowers um I might go to a different Whole Foods than the one I went to yesterday and see if they have Celtic salt I don't know if I will have much success but that's the plan and I might go tanning I don't know those are the the the, the schedule that's the schedule <laughs> Thanksgiving meal together. I'll, I'll even let you try my tofurkey. A what? A tofurkey. A tofu turkey. <laughs> well, when you put it like that, it sounds kind of gross. It's so good. I'll let you try it. So why do you say no? Because I'm. I don't. Because you're nervous. I don't like doing podcasts. And the one time I went out of my comfort zone and did a podcast, it was so bad I couldn't even watch it. I just turned into such a boring, ditzy person. <laughs> <laughs> We've run over this. I know. <laughs> I wonder if that's illegal to like carry around a severed finger. <laughs> with you. Um, it certainly would raise some questions. I would have to say. Yeah, like what if I was like standing in like a line at Target and I got bored because there's like three people in front of me with giant carriages of items, so I pull out my severed thumb and start 
petting it. Like, was that illegal? I would probably call the cops on you personally. My boyfriend just asked a question in my little Q&A box on my Instagram story and said, makeout sesh in the CVS Minute Clinic? <sighs> We were picking up sedatives for my cat at CVS together and they were like, oh, it'll be like 15 minutes. So we went and sat in the minute clinic and flirted for like 15 minutes. I was like, oh my God, I've never gotten all flirty in like the CVS minute clinic before I like wanna make out. <laughs> yeah, okay, why don't we start with, um, do you wanna, let's, let's monitor her weight for a few weeks. So should I come in in like a few days, we can weigh her and then I'll come back just to see, okay. Yeah, definitely email that to me. Do I need an appointment to bring her in just to weigh her or should I just come in? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna call this right now before I even go upstairs. Every time I leave the house, I put on my vlogs on YouTube on the TV so that the animals don't get bored. Maybe it fucking annoys them, don't know. I think it entertains them. I think it keeps them company, you know? So I put on my vlogs. Every time I come home, it's the Zane and Heath podcast on my TV. Every single time. I don't even listen to that podcast. I've never listened to it in my life. It's not like in my recents. Every single time I come home, that is playing on the TV. And listen, it's growing on me. It's growing on me because I'll just like leave it on when I come home. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm going to go upstairs right now. And the Zane and Heath podcast is going to be playing when I walk through the door. I'm calling it. I hear David. Because like they have like apparently post made it to my house. I, I, I saw that and I, I have and I have never in my life every time. It's like, like, I've, I've never put this podcast on in my life. Every, every time I come home, it's playing like, on the TV. Like a TikTok where, um, and I love it. Like this is going to be playing now for the next three hours. <laughs> Funny story. That brand deal that I was doing at Target. It was like for Bloom Nutrition, but I wanted to do like a haul video to like so I get a bunch of stuff and like film a haul for this brand deal. And I did it like a few weeks ago and they wanted me to refilm it. So I'm like, okay. So I did another random fucking haul today of all this stuff that I didn't need. Well, I do, I do need it. I'm going to give you guys a haul. I got good stuff. I'm really feeling in the fucking spirit this year. Let me tell you that. I got a pumpkin blanket, a throw blanket with autumn leaves and pumpkins on it. I was sitting in the aisle like staring at this blanket for like five minutes i'm like fuck it yolo get the fucking blanket tower live a little so i got the blanket i've been seeing this at the at grocery stores for like a few weeks now and i really wanted to try it it's the abbott's butcher plant-based chopped chicken i think i'm gonna like make a little veggie stir fry tonight and add this chopped chicken in it that sounds great <sighs> again i'm really feeling in the spirit i got a candle trio pumpkin spice pumpkin bourbon and pumpkin woods all these like little candles. It took me like 10 minutes to figure out if these were soy candles or not, because Marty can't be around like regular candles. It has to be soy wax. Um, they are. So listen, I know I'm fucking crazy. I got like a little pumpkin. A little straw pumpkin for my bar cart. How cute is it? <laughs> I got the bloom, the strawberry kiwi flavor. This is like their new flavor that they launched last month and it's now available at target the mango and the berry flavor are also available at target they're really good burt's bees extra white toothpaste i didn't even know burt's bees made toothpaste i got lemon ginger tea because i'm really trying to get into tea i've been trying for six years i got more root beer olipops because i only have a couple left in my fridge so i got venus move your fucking ass come here and then I got this. I showed you guys this in my shower earlier. It's the that sugar scrub. This is my favorite one. I got floss picks and raw. Oh, I'm sorry. I just smacked my cat in the head. He's, he didn't even care. He was uh, he didn't even feel it, did you? Okay, here's what I'm thinking. Kitchen. Bedroom. I've never gotten pink roses before. This is a big day. Um, bathroom. Living room. I don't know. Olipop sent me like a massive package with like so many different flavors. So now my entire fridge is Olipop. And I've never tried any of the other flavors besides the root beer and the cola. 
But I have so many, so I'm trying one right now. I'm trying the orange squeeze. One. Just broadening my horizons over here, don't mind me. Tastes like Fanta, that's so crazy. I love Olipop, like come on. Come on now. I'm gonna end the vlog because I feel like I've been yapping for a long time. So it's only like three o'clock or like 2.30 or something, but I can't go any longer because then this video is gonna be really long. So I'm gonna do my peak and pit right now, even though it's not the end of the day. I'm just gonna do my peak and pit thus far. My pit was, I was really excited. Um, my gym in my apartment complex has like two Pilates machines and I haven't used them yet and I was really excited to use them because I love going to Pilates classes and when I use them today, they're completely different than what I'm used to. Like they're so different than the ones at Solid Cork. So like I couldn't figure out how to use it. I was definitely using them so wrong and I was disappointed because I wanted to love them. So that was my pit. And my peak was Colin texting me today. Um, I said it earlier, I was like, oh my God, Colin just like texted me and he was like, I have a crazy proposition. Let me know if it's too crazy. And he spit off like a bunch of different dates that he's gonna come visit me. So now I'm going to see him in two weeks and then he's coming here two weeks later and then he's coming here again for Thanksgiving. And we're gonna have like a little Thanksgiving together. So that really made my day, that was really cute. And I just had like a really happy, productive day and I love filming vlogs so that made me really happy too so that was my peak thank you guys for hanging out with me today that was so much fun I love you so much please like and subscribe if you want me to keep making YouTube videos and keep me off the street that would be great if you smash that like button I'm sorry I'm begging sorry <laughs> I'll link my Amazon storefront down in the description and if you want to follow any of my other social medias my TikTok and my Instagram are both Tara's world and my OnlyFans is it's Tara's world or Tara's tits I did something crazy on there last week I posted it it's in the DMs so if you're interested in that love you hoes I'm gonna go buy a bra from Victoria's Secret because I never did that when I was out earlier, but I'm gonna go buy a fucking bra. And I'm excited. Okay, I love you. Bye.